Hello my friends! In today's video we're going to take a look at something called typography, the art and technique of arranging type, in this case type meaning letters and characters. You may not have noticed it before, but typography is something you see everywhere, from billboards on the side of the road, to your coffee cup, um, even to blog posts that you might read. And while these things might seem trivial at time, even the smallest type adjustments can impact the look and feel of your work. For example, in June of 2017, Facebook tested a new font on its users called Geneva. And while the font was only slightly thinner and lighter than the original Helvetica, it made a noticeable difference to some. The overall effect is a lighter, much more modern looking block of text. Apple, the company, was even in the same situation when they changed their default font from the dramatically thin Helvetica New to one they developed in-house called San Francisco. And speaking of Apple, Steve Jobs gives credit to a calligraphy class at Portland's Reed College for inspiring the elegance with which Apple computers are renowned. In his 2005 commencement address at Stanford University, he says, it was the first computer with beautiful typography. If I had never dropped in on that single course in college, the Mac would have never had multiple typefaces or a proportionally spaced font. So while we could take a lot of time, and as you have heard, even an entire college class to break down typography, uh, we're going to keep things incredibly simple today. We're going to break down font styles into three main categories. The first two styles are serif and sans serif. Let's look at Times New Roman, a classic serif style font. Serif style fonts are the ones that have the flourishes on the ends of the letters. If you are reading a book, you might notice that the body text is a serif. That's because serif is much easier to read in long printed works due to the distinctiveness between the letters. This is also a reason that many of your papers will have to be written in Times New Roman throughout the rest of your schooling career. Our next style is sans serif. In French, the word sans literally means without. So the term sans serif means without serif. For example, this font style here is called Helvetica. As a fun fact, Helvetica is actually used in a ton of different companies' logos. Um, in the next couple of images, you'll see examples of logos that use Helvetica that are really squished together, or the letters are spaced further apart, um, or the letters are in italics, or they are bolder, but some way or another, each of these companies use Helvetica in their logo. Our third and final style font is called script. Script typefaces are based upon the varied and often fluid strokes created by handwriting. Under the umbrella of a script typeface, there are also two basic classifications, formal and casual. Formal scripts are often reminiscent of handwritten letter forms common in the 18th and 17th century. Those are used for elegant designs like invitations and diplomas, and not for body text. The other is a casual script or informal, um, and they're just that. They are less formal script faces. Uh, they look more like everyday handwriting. 